do you think Red String played? Let me ask you that question. What the, uh, I'm not sure. The band, how many shows do you think they played? I'll say 200. Okay, they played 14 shows. 14, what else? Those 14 shows, 14 shows, right, that had an effect that people, has, can, music just kicks ass, it can kick ass. It, music can really affect people, and it continues. I think yeah. that is really, so in a way, the Revolution Summer can never be over, because the same way we were affected by earlier movements, and earlier ideas, earlier creativity, you know, we try to return that favor, and, if, and it continues to do that. People continually to, they, to think about it, and hopefully it inspires them to do something on their own. That's really the idea. Like, my motto has always been that music kicked my ass, and I intend to return the favor. <laughs> it seems really straight up. It's a good way of looking at it, yeah. So, I mean, that's the thing that's so crazy. Like, yeah, I mean, I think Embrace played, maybe we played, Ten shows, maybe more. I don't know, but like a band like SOA, which is Henry Rollins' first band, yeah. they played nine shows. Nine. It's crazy. Yeah. The lot of bands were like uh, getting together and separating pretty quickly. Is that right? Right. That's, yeah. That was just the nature of it. We were kids. You know how yeah. kids are. <laughs> yeah, I was one myself. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, kids is fucking, you know, you get, like, your best friend one day, and the next day you're like, fuck off! Oh, actually, yeah, you're right, yeah. No, I had a few right, fun things. You can't not, it's like, it's so temperamental, everything is moving at such a high, you know, pace, it's, everything's just flying, so, like, when you're in a band, like, you start playing, and you're, like, so passionate about it, but then suddenly it's like, you know, you know, it just immediately just goes up in flames, but, like, within a day, like, there's another band already, because we were, nobody... Nobody had, you know, nobody was really, you know, we had jobs, but they were all, like, part-time jobs. Everybody was just, you know, just wanted to fucking do this. We wanted to be in bands, so there was such a pressure, and we wanted to do it so badly. So if a band broke up, you immediately went into another relationship. I think it's probably, it's a lot like, you know, teenage dating. Yeah. You know, it's like, like, people, they go out, and all of a sudden, they, they, this is like a, it blows up, and then, like, a week later, they're going out with somebody else. Yeah. Mm-hmm.